I could eat the whole day. I probably have said that already, but it's true. So I just keep eating all that. I bet you've never cooked a steak with mayonnaise before. And that is about to change. This is why Dutch people have superpowers. They got their mayonnaise and they put it on everything. That's not exactly the way we think about it, but that's a how a lot of people perceive us. What we like to do is put mayonnaise on some things, and steak is not one of them. However, there's a secret to mayonnaise. It's made basically of egg and oil. And that oil, that is the secret to creating a beautiful tasting steak. And to sell my point to you guys, I selected a beautiful porter high steak. If this is not gonna sell mayonnaise steak to you, I don't know what will. I even wrote a book about making mayonnaise steaks. What more can I tell you? If you wanna check out the book, by the way, you can find it on our website. It's already available in Dutch and in German. We also translated it to French, to English, so it's coming to you. If it's not in your stores yet, don't worry about it. It's coming, I promise. Now, let's get started making a nice mayonnaise. You can make mayonnaise yourself if you want to, but in the Netherlands, we got so many great mayonnaises. I have a store-bought one that I really enjoy, so I'm using that. Any mayonnaise that's somewhat of a good quality, use that. And then you want to start adding flavors. So I got all these fresh, ready-to-go ingredients that we're going to put in it. Let's get started. This sauce has to have a lot of flavors. So I'm chopping up a shallot, a garlic cloves, a little bit of parsley, and I'm putting it all in a mortar and pestle. Together with some jalapeno peppers, and then I start mushing it fine. And I keep on mushing it. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want the flavors to come out of the cells of the fresh ingredients. Once it's all grind down, we're going to add it to a cup of mayonnaise and then mix it all together. Do the quick taste test and oh, oh yeah, this tastes good. It just needs a little bit more salt and pepper. Our mayonnaise is done, our porterhouse steak is ready to start grilling. So let's fire up our grill. I set my porterhouse steak over indirect heat and I'm going to let it come up to a temperature of around 52 degrees Celsius. Then I'm going to brush it with mayonnaise and sear it off. And this is what I call barbecue magic. We created something that it's actually not. We made a frying option on our steak. Normally you would cook a steak in a pan because you get that beautiful crust. But by brushing on mayonnaise and grilling it over a direct heat, you basically are frying your steak in the mayonnaise. And when you add flavor to that mayonnaise, you're frying in flavor and it gets even better. So you get grill marks, you get frying and you get flavor. And I believe this works so well that I put it in my book. It's just, in my mind, it's just when, when I discovered this, it's like mind blowing. And I think everybody needs to give it a try, at least once. We got the steak, we did it. Let's slice it up and eat it. I love to see which piece you are going to pick first, Morrison. None of your business. I'm going for the best part first. Tender ones. Mm. 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 Oh my god, that's so tender. Look at this. Mm. Wow. Oh man. The first thing that I get from the steak is like the sweetness of the mayonnaise. You won't like this side. Yeah, sure. 
It's more tender. I didn't know that. We didn't change the steak. The steak is still the steak. It tastes like steak. It's salty. It's not like eating steak with mayonnaise. It's like eating steak prepared in a different way. There's a lot of flavor in the crust. And it just has that slightly bit of flavor on the outside. And it's a really amazing steak. Beautiful crust. I do need to taste more of that crust. I'm sorry, Roel. And that reverse sear technique, it always works. It always works. It never lets me down. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of pepper still there. And sometimes you like little hint of flavors. Oh, yeah. I love it. If you feel that you're not getting enough of that mayonnaise flavor, just stick a piece of bread or just only the steak and just dip it in there. Go for it. I love mayonnaise steaks. Dunk it in there. If you're Dutch, you dunk it. If you told me five years ago that I would say that, I love mayonnaise steaks, I wouldn't believe you. Mm. But I do. This could be the ultimate steak and fries dish. If you get a little piece of bread with it. I could eat this all day. I probably have said that already, but it's true. So I'll just keep eating it all day. And then maybe get a tiny piece of meat on there. Mm. And there's so many herbs in there. It's basically healthy, right? Yeah, it's healthy. One last important thing to note, you gotta have a hot grill to finish it off. If you don't have the hot grill, you're not gonna get the right results. So you need the heat, otherwise it's just not gonna be the same. Mm. Would you do this with a wok cube? I, I could, and I should. I should, shouldn't I? Just tell me, guys, tell me. Just give me the word. I just, I just need one comment that says do it. That's all. I'm just gonna finish off my beautiful steak and sandwich. Hope Morrison's not that hungry today. I'm really hungry. Stop saying you're hungry. I hope Morrison is not really hungry today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Big thank you to our patrons and our YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, stay smart, and keep on grilling. It's like, if we, this would be like a, just a steak with salt, then uh, it would be a lot more boring. Yeah. It would be, yeah. we wouldn't be ex as excited. But that, that's why I told you about the wagyu, because I think this is the perfect steak for me. It's not a boring steak, but it's the most regular steak you can find. The regular good steak. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not an extremely good steak. It's just a good steak. It's just a good steak. And you enhance it. Yeah. It would it still make sense on the wacky? Mm. Mm. But yeah, only one comment. Mm. Only one comment away from eating wacky steaks with mayonnaise. Yeah.